Good Monday evening, everybody, live and direct from House Onik in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Things are pretty quiet for right now. We do not have anything really to worry about in the way of very heavy weather overnight, but we may be seeing, again, the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms at various points in time throughout the rest of the evening. Going to be doing things a little bit earlier here tonight. Unfortunately, as we get used to daylight saving time coming to an end, it's a little bit difficult to remember that as of right now, by the time we record this, it's 8.16 p.m. That's what the clock says, but body clocks, that's a much different story. And if you're one of the people like myself who do a pretty good job of having to get up very early in the morning, then you really need to remember that you got to get to bed at some point in time a little bit earlier these days. Even when you're not falling forward, when you're not springing forward and you're falling back, you really do need to remember again to make certain that you are uh, as much as possible into a vein of ideas of keeping your strength up and unfortunately it can be very much on the strenuous side to make certain that you are asleep at the right time so if you have any plans for again keeping an eye on the forecast for tonight and into the rest of the forecast into the next couple of days things are going to be again pretty quiet for right now we may see again the potential for some more problems heading our direction as we get into the course of the next couple of days but we'll talk more about that in just a little while questions concerns if you've never been here before first of all if you're on Paris scope or Twitter. Welcome to the show. Thanks a lot for tuning in to keep an eye on what's going on with weather in the Mid-South area. It's been kind of a misty, drizzly day interspersed with a few uh, thunderstorms out there, and there is still kind of the possibility of a few thunderstorms tonight. We're not looking at a huge amount anyway, but there is going to be that possibility that we see a few thunderstorms from time to time. I wouldn't rule them out at this point according to what the forecasts say, but the threat for severe weather, it was pretty limited today, and looks like it's going to be even more limited coming up for later on tonight, so we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Saying a big fond welcome to everybody who's just joining us on our Facebook Facebook video chat for this evening. And if you have any questions or concerns about what we're seeing with the forecast, drop them into the comments section and I'll do my best to answer what we've got on there. Again, pretty quiet for right now. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, that's okay. We make certain that we get everybody taken care of. So all you have to do is just read this blue bar, scrolling bar right here. And that's the forecast for, again, the Mid-South area. Again, giving the possibility of a few scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm overnight, but that's really going to be just about all that we wind up with for the most part. We may see the possibility with those showers and thunderstorms out there of some decent amounts of anything involving uh, the possibility of maybe, again, some showers and thunderstorms taking place into parts of the Mid-South. Looks like my camera angle is a bit messed up here, so give me just about two shakes to take a look at that. Not too sure what source that was a second or two ago. As of right now, again on radar, taking a look from uh, News Channel 3 in downtown, we did have a few scattered showers taking place, and right around Midtown, we do have a few light echoes showing up and redeveloping in the case of showers, so expecting more chances of showers as we get into the afternoon and evening hours again tomorrow. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. North Mississippi is pretty quiet for the time being. A few scattered sprinkles uh, out across much of the area. As we get into around the early evening hours, we'll see more of these chances of showers uh, into the rest of the area today. Eastern Arkansas, if you're up around Jonesboro, uh, Harrisburg, west of I-55, that's where we're seeing some showers taking place here and even more activity going on just north of there uh, into parts of Missouri. Heaviest activity by far is over West Tennessee from the metro area north to Dyersburg, uh, Hornbeak, Troy, Union City, and again, possibility of those showers going to be continuing off and on. We're not getting any lightning from what I can see out of these storms, but we may see again the potential for uh, more activity like this throughout the course of the evening hours. So again, the possibility of seeing more of this is going to be a good one out there for tonight. So if you are traveling, that's going to be something else uh, to take a look at there. Good evening to Kevin Dunn. I'll get to uh, some of the questions here in just a little bit. Did have a couple of crazy storms out there uh, for a little bit for today. Thanks a lot. Uh, in a fight between the Weather Wizard and Storm from the X-Men, I don't know, I'd have to say Storm. She's a probably more powerful mutant, I think, and the Weather Wizard only just relied on technology, as far as I remember, but uh, that's as close as I can say for right about now. Uh, Angie Rose, good evening, and Senatobia. Again, you may be looking at the possibility of a few more scattered showers. There's just not that much going on uh, in the Senatobia area for right now, but more sprinkles are popping up from time to time, and we'll continue to see more of that across much of the area for right now. You need some help? 
What are you doing? Come here. Come on. Come here for a second. Oh, you want to play? Oh, you want to play with the crinkle saw? That's what you want to do. Okay, fine. All right, special appearance tonight. While we're talking about radar, I might as well have somebody in here for just a little bit. Everybody meet Marlo, if you haven't already, the weather dog from House... Well, one of the weather dogs from House Sonic, rescue dog. Here are three of them here at House Sonic, and she occasionally wanders on by. And for if those of you who have cats and get them really expensive cat toys, and uh, they only just play with the boxes, really great idea. You put a uh, used water bottle in an old athletic sock, and that right there is something that uh, comes in very... What, are you getting stage fright all of a sudden? You? Not really sure what to say, huh? All the lights and all the excitement and everything. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, we'll let you go chase that for right now. And we'll be back to her in a little bit for just a little while. Like I said before, you never know what you're going to get when you get into these weather casts. So, again, thanks to everybody for tuning in for right now. Let's go ahead and take a look and see uh, what's going on for the rest of the area for tonight. And as soon as I get my sources straightened out here for just a second, we do see that front sitting very easily right down to the south of us. This is from windy.ty. Oh, no, come on. Seriously, you're going to do this to me this way? Okay, hang on just one second here. And I think we've got this taken care of. If not, this is going to be a very short... Okay, fine. All right. Well, this may be a little bit of a minor problem here. Give me just two seconds here to get this taken care of, and we'll uh, see what we can do about this. We'll talk about radar for just a second while we get the rest of this done. Uh, what we should be seeing is this. Again, the uh, possibility of uh, the, wet, the uh, wind map showing up here. It's supposed to be in the viewing screen, but unfortunately for my uh, viewing friends on Periscope and Twitter, we're having some trouble getting this to uh, show up for just a second. So let's see if this works for right now. And possibly will, possibly not, don't know. Let's see. Okay, this might take uh, a little bit less of a concern to get this going. My apologies on this. This should have uh, worked uh, earlier. I'm not too sure why this is not doing things here just properly. Uh, give me just two seconds here to see if this is going to get going. And quite possibly not. So let's see if we get this done here. And it's still not doing anything. Okay, apologies on this. Uh, chances for rainfall again throughout the rest of the forecast into this evening. Going to be seeing more possibilities of problems uh, into the mid south as we get into again the rest of the forecast. And again, this is going to be something that we see again throughout the course of the rest of the evening. So we possibly could see uh, more rainfall throughout the rest of the middle part of the week, but that's going to be about it for right now. And again, much of what we're looking at for the time being is going to be, again, the possibility of more of this out there uh, for, again, the evening hours out across much of the Mid-South. And again, okay, well, we're just not going to have this, I guess, for tonight. Sorry about that for right now, but uh, looks like that is going to be off the table for the time being. For those of you watching uh, in and around the area of Periscope and Twitter, should be having that back on, but unfortunately, I don't know why this is not... Uh, doing what it's supposed to be doing at this point in time. So as of right now, we're looking again at the uh, fairly quiet conditions into the Mid-South for later on tonight, but much of what we're seeing for the time... Ah, there it is. Okay, hang on just two seconds, and I'll get this uh, back to where it should be, and then everybody on at least Periscope and Twitter can have some idea as to what's going on for tonight. We'll talk about hurricanes in just a little bit. That's where we see the line for right now. Again, right across the area. That's that front we've been watching sitting right across the area. You can see it pretty well uh, as the warm air sits to the south of that front and the cooler air back to the north of that. Michael Clark, uh, when is it going to get cool and stay cool? No, unfortunately. Uh, it's not going to be happening immediately, but beyond this, we are going to be seeing some cooler air dropping on down from the north. It is going to take some time to get here, but once it does, we will be seeing again some uh, current conditions that will be a little bit more in the way of uh, palatable for us as we see a lot of cool temperatures back north of us into the green with numbers back in the 40s. The, sorry, it's stuck on Celsius at this point in time, but that's where we're seeing again the uh, current conditions out there that are rather on the warm side for right now. Uh, National Hurricane Center, we do have again 19 out in mid-ocean, not a threat to anybody. It is just 
uh, tropical depression at this time. And once again, this thing could be a threat to the British Isles, so we'll be watching that. It could be a tropical storm as early as tonight. We'll be uh, listening into the Storm Prediction Center and the Hurricane Center for more information on that. Storm Prediction Center, here's the good news for this evening. Again, in the green shaded areas that we have here for the Mid-South, the marginal threat is now solidly over Middle Tennessee and Southern Middle Tennessee at that. So we don't have anything else going on in the way of severe weather. The light green shaded polygon, that's again just where we see the potential for just thunderstorms. And like we showed you on radar just a few seconds ago, uh, we may see again the potential for uh, more of those coming up a little bit later on, later on. Michael Clark, Pringles can. We'll have to give that a try sometime. Maybe if we put some uh, stuff on the inside, they can turn that around. Uh, Grady Bennett, wind direction, that's windy tie. Uh, it's the address is windy.com, W-I-N-D-Y dot com. So a uh, great place to go to for information on that. We try to get a whole bunch of these different places to go to, but these animated websites are pretty good. We tried to get uh, earth.nullschool.net to pop up here. Uh, earlier, but unfortunately this is all we were getting, so we weren't getting too, well, okay, make a liar out of me. Now now we're getting the data coming up through here. For some reason, I seem to have angered the internet gods for tonight. I don't know why or how. This is what we're looking at again. Uh, this one from earth.nullschool.net earth.null, N-U-L-L, school.net, a uh, great place to go to for more information on that. And this gives you tons of weather information available uh, from the Mid-South area. More importantly, again, back to the severe weather. This is where we're seeing, again, little, if anything, showing up in the way of severe weather for tonight. Now, likewise, into around the area for uh, tomorrow from the Storm Prediction Center's outlook, we do not see at this point anything, uh, last check anyway, of anything involving severe weather either. Now, we do have that polygon showing uh, the possibility of thunderstorms out there, but we don't see much of anything and most of that over the southern parts of the News Channel 3 viewing area, so that's going to be about all that we see there. Much colder to the north, snow from the Rockies to the Great Lakes tonight and into tomorrow. Could be some ice storms setting up into around the Great Plains and the High Plains of Colorado. We're going to continue to see that front wobble back and forth across the area as it does We'll continue again to see more chances of showers, and in that red hatched area, that's where we see the potential of, again, some thunderstorms taking place into tomorrow afternoon and evening, and that, again, could be a bit of a problem for outdoor activities. Wednesday and into Thursday, we see a resurgence of rainfall where that front sinks on down to the Gulf of Mexico. It was supposed to kind of wobble back and forth across the Mid-South. Doesn't look like it's going to be doing that right now. That push of drier air to the north is going to be escorting that thing southward, so that should help out by just a little bit anyway to move that out of here. What are we looking at for the rest of the forecast into tonight? Well, it depends on where you're located. Two below, you could have a low in the mid-60s. Jonesboro, Dyersburg, Union City, you could see low temperatures in the lower 50s, even the upper 40s north of that, and that's that front that's making its way on through. Heading into tomorrow, high temperatures again, depending on location, 70s in Tupelo, 50s in Jonesboro, lower 60s for much of the metro area. Uh, Grady Bennett, yeah, the uh, app that uh, I have on there is pretty much exactly... Uh, the same thing, but any of those tools can come in handy at various points in time, so try to have as many of them as possible. Low temperatures tomorrow night, once again, a little bit varied, but it will be a little bit uh, different out there with lows in the lower 50s around Tupelo, 40s up around Jonesboro and Dyersburg, and chances of rainfall, unfortunately, will be sticking around through tomorrow into tomorrow night. And it looks like Wednesday we'll see some very cool temperatures back in the lower 50s for high temperatures across the entire area, mid-50s down toward northeast Mississippi and areas of northeastern areas of uh, Mississippi up into northeastern Arkansas. Now through Thursday, high temperatures improve a little bit, upper 50s to lower 60s, but we should see less of anything in the way of rainfall. And in fact, we should be back to sunshine by the end of the week. Thursday into Friday, high temperatures back into the mid to upper 50s. And taking a quick look at weather for Veterans Day. And thank you again very much to everybody who's worn the uniform of the country to help keep us safe out there. A very big thank you, uh, especially from a military family like mine from a long time ago. Back to around the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s for Veterans Day. Now by afternoon and evening, unfortunately, we've got more chances 
chances of rainfall starting mm -hmm. to make its way on through. So that could be just a bit of a problem. But otherwise, looking at gorgeous temperatures out there, pleasant for outdoor parades, dedication ceremonies, things like that. And winds a little breezy out of the south, but at least they'll be warming things up 10 to 15 miles per hour out there. More information on my Facebook page. And if you're the late night type of person who sticks around again for uh, tons of information in the overnight hours, I try to plug in as much as possible that'll pop up in the overnight hours. So please stop by and check out more about that. More information about what's going on with weather, including uh, you can tune into these weathercasts available on the Twitter page as well. Radar data, satellite science, climate data, all sorts of other great stuff available there. A good opportunity to see more, uh, keeping you up to date as to what's going on here. And also you can catch up more on Periscope. Oh, look, you can still see Marlo stuck there for just a little bit. So uh, internet's, furry internet celebrity around House Sonic for there for tonight. We continue again to see, again, quiet conditions for the most part, but there could be that rumble of thunder out there overnight, so please keep that in mind. Tune in for my forecast. Uh, new time available on this. Need to get this graphic fist fixed with J Bob and Josh. Talk back live 8 to 10 a.m. Monday through Friday. Great opportunity to learn uh, what's going on and ma mainly they talk about Mid-South sports, Bob and Josh on Talkback Live, but they do a great job with other stuff like community events and all kinds of neat stuff. And I'm an occasional guest on there as well talking about weather and science and stuff like that. So if you can't listen on air because you're out of range, listen online at talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information. And you can pick up more about the seven-day forecast, which, big surprise, is not okay there we go there's the seven day forecast from the news channel 3 weather center and that's available at wreg.com slash weather thanks to everybody for tuning in for tonight apologies for the uh, slight foul ups where it comes to information out there we try to keep things moving as well as possible but unfortunately sometimes it does happen that way We'll keep our eyes on the rainfall throughout the rest of the evening and also on what's going on throughout the rest of the Mid-South throughout the rest of the week, so stay tuned for more there. Live and direct from House Onik in Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. More available again at wreg.com weather. Everybody have a great and safe evening and stay tuned to News Channel 3 for all the latest.